good evening my brothers and sisters i greet in the name of jehovah i greet in the name of jesus christ i also greet in the name of the holy spirit just a quick one i brought good tidings for you today a quick one to quickly discuss something with uh, with it with us today and i believe my god will touch you with a listening here and half at for us to be able to take in these things we want to speak with you today in the mighty name of jesus the little topic that i'm going to discuss on is just to ask some questions what spirits do you allow to walk in you the question may sound funny it may sound somehow but the truth remains that we need to ask ourselves what spirit is working on me or what spirit is working on you ask yourself you need to check yourself is truly the spirit of god working in you why i brought this to you today for us to checkmate ourselves to know if we are still standing on the point or on the platform at which god exists ask yourself what spirit is controlling me what spirit is working in me we've gone to church today we are back from church when you go to church you behave after church when you go back home you go back to that same kind of negative habits you need to ask yourself are you deceiving yourself or are you or you are deceiving people and ask yourself what spirit is really working in me we need to first of all allow the spirit of god to work in us for us to be able to call, check ourselves and to give ourselves that yes really i'm on god's side we need to do that we need to know that so first you need to allow the spirit of god to work in you jesus christ made us understand that he's going to send us a comforter which is the holy spirit that one will guide us and lead us and teach us the things to do so ask yourself is god's spirit working in me when people go to church they go to church after the sermon after church service they immediately they step out from the auditorium they start acting the way they were before which is not supposed to be when we go to church we are supposed to move at least an inch from where we were before but these days people go to church start they listen they will just sit right and tight and dance but when they go back home they go back to what they've been doing even though worse than the one they were before the bible says in john chapter 4 verses 28 sorry john chapter 4 24 he said god is a spirit and those worshiping him must worship him in spirit and in truth god is a spirit and those worshiping him must worship him in spirit and in truth ask yourself are you worshiping god in spirit and in truth if those basic are not there then you are deceiving yourself if those things are not there then you are deceiving yourself i wouldn't want to take much of your time i only try to tell you let's try to know that this world we need to inculcate the spirit of god inside our lives for us to be able to move the purpose of serving god is for us to live a better life and for after f for us to be able to attain heaven but these days the other way around is the case order of the of the day remember god is a spirit and those worshiping was worshiping in spirit and in truth so ask yourself are you telling yourself the truth are you in line with the, the truth are you speaking the truth because if the spirit of god is not in you my brother my sister you are just deceiving yourself you are just a church goer normally you just go when you come back you still go back to you where you were before which is not supposed to be let us try to change our ways 
let us try to welcome the Spirit of God into our lives. And that is the only way and solution that we can live a better life. And that is the only way we can be able to attain heaven too. Heaven is real. Let us change our ways. Let us change our conduct. Let us welcome the Spirit of God. That Spirit alone is that will be that will be able to channel us into doing the right things at the right time. Romans chapter 8, verses 8. Let us read too. And it says, So those who are in harmony with God, sorry, so those who are in harmony with the flesh cannot please God. So if you are in harmony with the flesh, you cannot please God. However, 9. You are in harmony not with the flesh, but with the spirit. If God's spirit truly dwells in you, but if anyone does not have Christ's spirit, this person does not belong to him. So if the spirit of God really dwells in you, that is when you'll be able to move in life. And that is the only thing that can help us. My brothers, my sisters, I pray to you that God's spirit will work in you. This week will, shall be a successful week and a better week for you and I. Let us try as much as possible to allow the Spirit of God to work in us. I'm telling you, it is very, very important and essential that the Spirit of God is in us. I will just quickly pray for you. Wherever sickness you have, touch there. If you have this belief, get a water. Let me pray. When you use the water, you'll be able to get back to us and glorify God from this minute and spot. Let us pray. I'm receiving, you can see my Miss Celestia. Let me pray my Celestia way. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, Father Jehovah God, the good God in heaven, go upon earth, go upon. I thank you, Daddy, for today, for our lives, for everything you've done for us. Accept our praises and our, our, our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. We are sinners, we sin against you, forgive us our sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Take absolute control in our lives. I pray for everyone that is listening or watching this video. Wherever you are, my Father will touch you. Wherever the problem, nor sickness, nor pain you are, Father will relieve you right now.